It's day seven. Welcome to another day in isolation with Marianne. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. Let's be free. Chris and I are just chilling in the van. Uh, we're on day five of quarantine and uh, well self-isolation and it's cold I'm really grateful when we're in Croatia. There was a lovely lady called Vera who gave me that blue rug and uh, I'm delighted to have it now because we hop from mat to mat because it's gold You'd think it's be hot, but it's not it's about 13 degrees right now And I'm just having a quick tidy up um, because John Bray from the BBC, we're old friends with John. He did our original interview uh, when we decided to have our midlife crisis and drive around the world and set off on our big adventures and, and do this dream that we're doing. But no, we're not mechanics <laughs> at all. But we have a sense of humour. <laughs> I think they're going to need that sense of humour. So he contacted us and said, would we um, be available for a Skype chat? So uh, yesterday we had Radio Shropshire and West Midlands Radio. And then we've spoken to Sophie at the BBC online newspaper. And then today we're going to be talking to John. So things are very fluid, aren't they? Chris is watching a horror it's movie. Been busy. Not that life isn't I'm a horror. He's watching it on Netflix. He's watching it. Marianne Who? hates horror movies, but Hate. it's actually, I used to love, re, re, I read the Stephen King book and it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm watching the movie. No, can't, can't see <laughs> horrible things, especially when there's clowns and weird <laughs> freaky stuff. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're just having a bit of a tidy up really before we have our Skype chat. Um, but yeah, we're all good. We're all good. You know, we're feeling for the people that are really struggling and, um, you know, emotionally, physically and financially struggling with this self-isolation. It's going to be really tough for some people. We're really lucky. We've um, sort of shrunk down to a six metre van, so we don't actually need that much. And mentally, we're, I know a lot of you don't think so, but mentally, we're OK at the moment. Mentally, we're OK. We're okay. We've been, yeah, we've been, although we've been self-isolating for five days, we have actually been in Istanbul. We've probably been in the van pretty, uh, probably another five days just popping out when we have to. So, uh, but it's it's fine to be on yeah. the social media and you guys are keeping us sane. And while we have the internet, it's good. Yeah, we've actually had loads of comments and messages to keep us busy. And of course, we have family with really weird and wicked sense of humours. <laughs> uh, so we've had quite a few things, including um, saying that we're going to know what your hair colour really is by the time you come out of the van. You're going to be hairy because you can't shave I and things to like shave. that. I'm going to start to look like Papa Smurf again. <laughs> So I've actually got a hair dye. I always have one just in case. So before we come out I of this do quarantine, with some of my beard. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do my roots. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we're looking forward to having a chat with John. Lovely, lovely bloke. Um, and uh, yeah, just tidying up. I've just filled up our water bottle. Um, we've got a lifesaver. Which, and it is a lifesaver. And it is a lifesaver. It sterilizes all our water. So rather, it's quite a big, like a big jerry can size. Um, well, otherwise we'd have to go out and get bottled water, yeah. which at the moment is just yeah. not practical. So yeah, I've um, bought this bottle of water years ago and I just use this to top it up because it's easier and more manageable for me to carry it up. I put the kettle on and so we can have a cup of coffee and warm up because it's a bit chilly. Um, going to have a little bit of a scoot around and tidy. But it's going to be chilly for about... The, I think until the weekend so I'm looking forward to being able to do all the washing and stuff we've got washing line outside so that's good um, but yeah so shout out to everybody at home hope you're coping uh, with the financial physical and mental and of course the health aspects of this pandemic which nobody could have planned for and thank you so much for all the shout outs and wishing us well and um, you know disappointed for our world trip and as we said probably only we could plan to decide to drive around the world when there is a pandemic. 
uh, but we are not disheartened or broken we are just going to go with it we're staying safe and even if we have to do a cut may, uh, take two we're going to do this so we'll keep you posted all along the way of whatever we get up to what's for dinner tonight love she got me cooking again yeah I'm sauteing some onions. Does that sound posh or what? Fried onions. We've got some uh, diced potatoes, which potatoes. I'm just going to fry up with the with the onions once they're soft. And then I'm going to do a little omelette and put it all together. And we've just had a wonderful interview with John from the BBC in the West Midlands. Hello. Ah, oh. oh. <laughs> We're so excited. We hit the hit the uh, the iPad and dropped it. We Actually. hit the table and it Let's just see. went. How's... We got John from the BBC. <laughs> We're going to stay with the theme of uh, stranded travellers now because a couple from Shropshire who set off on a round-the-world trip in a camper van now find themselves trapped in a deserted public car park. We clearly don't regret doing this. This is just part of the, part of the experience, yeah? You know, look, at the, at the end of the day, we're in our home. We have everything we physically need. Yeah. Only worry about the things you can control. We can't control what's going on other than our own behaviours. Yeah. And we do wake up and look at each other and go, we're in a van, in a car park, in Istanbul. <laughs> and uh, I can't believe how many interviews we've had today, I think, and yesterday. It feels like work. <laughs> we've been working today. We're definitely not bored today. So, uh, yeah. And if we're not able to do travel videos, I think we should start doing Cooking with Chris. The Dancing Chef. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I married him. <laughs> and it was so good. I forgot to film it. But omelette, fried diced potatoes with onions. It was delicious, thank you very much. But it's all gone. Comfort food. I think we've still got like 40 eggs in the van. We so are so busy. We are busy. That we have... I don't know why we're doing, busy. What, what are we busy doing? It's, it's Well, we've had 120 day. comments on the post I just put on. That's why. <laughs> yeah. And catching up with family and friends as well. Yeah. It's been... We literally... Everyone's ringing to make sure we're fine. So, yeah. We're good. Which is lovely. How many eggs have we got? For 42, I think. <laughs> we might turn into an egg in the next two weeks. <laughs> Morning, prison yard. <laughs> Morning, prison yard. Day six of isolation. Self-isolation, I hasten to add. Here in Istanbul. And uh, what's the plan for today, love? What exciting things have we got planned today? <laughs> We're going to first of all start by sending our love to all the health workers all over the world. You're doing a fabulous job. And we're here self-isolating for you guys. And I have some toast. I have some leftover bread, which hasn't gone off yet. It is not going to waste. So I have some jam and toast. I still have a bit of butter. So that is definitely a morning comfort treat today. And then um, I've got a video to edit. I'm going to do some skipping. It's a bit cold to be skipping. It it's a cold... It's a cold, rainy day here in Istanbul, and uh, yeah, but hopefully, it says it's going to dry up next week, but that's still five days away. I feel like we need to start getting a, a thing on the wall where we start doing lines and crosses, <laughs> <laughs> and start engraving them into the cupboard doors or something. We could do that. What, engrave them into the cupboard doors? No, maybe we'll put a bit of paper we'll up. We'll put a piece of paper. We'll sell a super piece of paper in on the inside of the door or something. Um, but yeah, Trudy is slowly getting a little bit more messy. <laughs> well, we're storing things. We're storing things in the front because we know we don't have to drive. And we've bought extra food, so, you know, it's like, it's all a little bit crammed, crammed in here. But all good. And the movie I watched last night, It... If you like a little bit of scary, it's a good movie. It's on Netflix and uh, yeah, kept me entertained. Yeah. Anyway, toast time. Supplies are still looking good in the cupboard there. That was Marianne's uh, clothes cupboard, but she's moved them. And um, we've got a whole jar of jam. And uh, we've yeah. got a little bit to finish up.
fish off in the fridge as well. I don't think there's there's not a lot in the fridge. Uh, no, there's no jam in there. Beautiful toast and jam. What a treat because we don't get this very often. Mm. Very homely. So it's a bit cold in the van. It's cold. So I just said to Chris, I'm going to go outside and we've got a ledge all the way round that we can do steps on. So I'm just going to go outside and do 50 steps because it's really cold in the van and it yeah. will warm me up. And I'm coming out with you to and <laughs> to film. No, no, I'm going to come and do it because it's freezing. It is cold. And we're trying to conserve the, uh, the heating and diesel and LPG that we have in the van. So we're going to go and do, um, we're going to count to 50 steps up and down on the, on the curb outside to get the circulation going. And start praying that the, it warms up in Turkey. Yeah, another week at least, I think. Right, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Said ledge. It's actually starting to rain a little bit. Right. Let's get this exercise on the go. Wanna move my feet? Wanna drop my one? 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 Good job! Just moving around the yard. <laughs> Very easy to sit still in the van, especially when it's this horrible. Yeah. It's not that warm. I thought it was about 13 degrees yesterday. <coughs> apparently it was only eight, which explains how we can see our breath in the van. It's definitely... <laughs> yeah, we got people staring and smiling. <laughs> got to keep moving a little bit. Huh? Yeah. Are we running up and down the yard yet? No, it's cold. <laughs> Although I'm warmer now. I am warmer. What's on the menu, chef? We have the leftover tomato sauce that I made for the pizza, and it's perfect to put into pasta. So uh, I made a little bit of tomato and pasta, and uh, for me, I'll sprinkle a little bit of chili on it, but it's a good way of just multi-using the basics that we uh, that we're making um so that it keeps the flow of food going and we don't waste anything and uh yeah so far so good day six <laughs> we're not rocking and dribbling just yet are we love no are we far off day day 90 might get a bit dodge <laughs> dodge <laughs> we'll just see how, just take it all as it comes keep positive it's fine at the moment it's day seven. Welcome to another day in isolation with Marianne. And Chris coming to us. And her day. husband, Chris. Coming making to Making coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, we've been in the van too long. <laughs> I think we might have been. Morning, baby. Morning. <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> Sloughing it in bed. <laughs> We're making coffee, making videos, and uh, yeah. We are not going stir crazy. Yeah! He is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, coffee time, and uh, we've got videos to make, Netflix to watch, songs to make up, people to talk to, windows to look out of. Actually, what is the weather today? Oh, how how is the world looking? Another grey day in Istanbul. I think my window's the best window. Your window's the best. Oh, there's a bus. There's a bus. There's nobody on it. That's the main road, which actually is normally really. Well, we're in a major city, it's Istanbul. Well, well, you saw what it was like when we drove in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's definitely quiet. It's good, people are people are doing their thing here. Still got still got no enforced isolation. No. As we know. I normally check every morning the uh, 
Turkish news. Coronavirus cases record big jump in Turkey. Uh, increased by 561 on Wednesday. That's a lot. It's a bit warning. Let's just make sure there's no more lockdowns. No. No, there's no, uh, there's still no enforcing. We've actually got it a lot better, I think, than a lot of vanners around yeah. the world. We've seen other guys online in South America and uh, Morocco and uh, being moved on by authorities and stuff. But so far, um, life here in Istanbul, uh, the owners of the car park, this sort of little sports hall, are looking after us. They come and check on us every day just to make sure we're okay and not sick or need anything. And um, yeah, I think Turkish people are known for their hospitality. Hospitality, and I think as soon as um, the borders were closed, we actually uh, spoke to the owner here and said, "At any point, are you going to throw us out? Can we self-isolate and keep ourselves?" And he here? said, "No." And Can he... you close the window? It's freezing. Are you cold? My feet are on the floor, and it's really cold. But I'm under the door. No, it's... close the window. It's freezing, oh, and we're not putting the heating on. And that's why we have condensation, actually. I know, yeah, because we can't normally we put the heat in on. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Um, but we're happy. We're looking forward to the weather warming up. Uh, online, it yeah. says the weather should be warming up on Monday, which is like, uh, what day is it today? It's Thursday today. I managed okay. to keep track of the days because of the videos. Yeah. Putting the videos out makes me realise. Um so yeah, it's, it's Thursday today, so on Monday, the weather looks nice. <laughs> so we might be able to actually sit outside. Actually, it's, I don't know, what the time seems to be flying a lot quicker. Yeah, I it's think quite it's strange. we've had so many messages of support. And yeah, comments. that's true. And we endeavour, we and we haven't yet not answered every single one. Yeah. Um, some of them I have to just put like a like, but every single message we see. Um, and we're thinking, we're thinking we might start the live chats again because I know everybody's at home bored, um, which will keep us entertained and keep you entertained. Yeah. Anyway, I need coffee. Yeah, there is some seriously good stuff out there on YouTube, so you can entertain yourself at any point, can't you? There's loads of stuff. Oh, there's loads of content. I, and, and this is, I say it every day, we're so lucky we have the internet at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Because when the internet goes off here... And a subscription from Netflix. And a subscription from Netflix, it's going to be a little bit more stir-crazy. If there's no internet. It's going to be fine. I might be pacing. He will be pacing. Sleeping. We hope you're okay. And uh, exactly. maybe send us some comments of things we could do. I was watching a video online um, which had some very good advice. And there's loads yeah. of people, content creators like ourselves, mm. who put out content, who put out the, the situation, who advise you what to do. Telling you what you should do. Influencers. But in this situation, don't listen to any of us. None don't of us. listen to any YouTuber or anybody about no. the coronavirus. No. You should only listen to your government authority yeah. and somebody like the World Health Organization. Yeah. Anyway. Enough talking, it's time for coffee. Because <laughs> I am i don't function very well without my caffeine in the morning. Yeah, it's quite funny. We had a couple of comments about uh, what we've purchased to um, <laughs> as supplies. And uh, yeah, we shouldn't have bought so much coffee because it's bad for you. But just for an adult guidance warning, we have no intentions of drinking it all in one day. Day seven. Actually, it's day eight. Day eight. I'm losing track. Day eight in self-isolation here in Istanbul, Turkey. And we're eating some of our chocolate rations. Yeah. We decided we wanted a mm. pick-me-up. Although, the sun has just come out. Well, the forecast says rain, so I think it's lying. And I think spring has sprung because there's little <laughs> baby birds in the car park and it's really cute. And we're expecting a call from our local newspaper, mm. the Shropshire Star, mm. who uh, featured us when we first left. Mm. So they uh, they saw the uh, the TV interview with the uh, BBC, and uh, they're giving us a call uh, very shortly. Actually, should be. 
I love chocolate. There's something magical. I know it's bad for you. Mm. Yeah, I have to reiterate <laughs> that if you're looking for a lifestyle, <laughs> healthy channel, you need to turn over now. <laughs> we drink coffee, we eat chocolate, we don't smoke or drink heavily, um, but we are not that channel. Yet. <laughs> we haven't resorted to any kind of healthy things yet. We Actually, the owner did offer us a puff on his, uh, what do they call them? The pipe. The, the shish, shish. Is it shisha? Shisha. Shisha, shisha kebab? No, it's no. not. No, the big, the big yeah turkish sort of middle eastern smoking, smoking pipes years ago and um, that was before they did the self isolation that was when we first arrived um but yeah probably not a good thing to share around at yeah. the moment also if any of our footage is showing self distancing or self isolation and it's wrong it's because before then it was just coming out the filming was just coming out now we are self isolating uh, the footage isn't live or real it's edited before. Oh, more chocolate. Oh. Somebody said to me it feels like an alien invasion and I said as long as they bring chocolate and wine to this party here in the van they can come. Absolutely. Chocolate and wine. I mean we used to own a pub. It would be, uh, it would have been it would have been Imagine. good from one perspective to get self-isolated oh, in a pub and it would be absolutely terrible from a business perspective, if we were closed and self-isolating in the pub. we would have been locked in with beer, wine, spirits, crisps, chocolates and nuts. But we would have been bankrupt. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> oh, here's something new, baby. Cheese on toast. And uh, yeah, not the cheese Any and people? toast. Any, not the cheese and toast song. In case you missed the cheese and toast song that we did in Honduras, I'll put a link above. But yeah, it's uh, it's cheese and toast for lunch today, and it's super nice. The sun oh. is coming out. Although they do forecast rain for the weekend, yeah. um, but it's nice. It's actually warming the van up, which is absolutely lovely. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. I do. I'm lose, starting to lose track of the days, though. I, I'm keeping a list. Is it day eight today? I think it's day, eight. day eight. I'm sure it's day eight. So uh, sending the love vibes and um, COVID nineteen free, clean free, virtual hugs and kisses out there. So keep safe, and we'll check in again soon. We've hoped you've enjoyed this episode um, of us at the beginning of our self isolation. Um, it's interesting because we're actually currently on day 42, uh, 41 of self-isolation here in Istanbul. And what we filmed back then uh, in this video, uh, if we knew what we knew now, it, we'd look at it completely differently. So it's, it's interesting how quickly the situation evolves. Yeah, the information coming through uh, from the media, uh, from our local friends, from our neighbours in the Overlander. There's so much information coming. It's all very conflicting and it's not their fault. It's just nobody really knows what's going on and everybody's hearing little different bits. If you've enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to click that subscribe button yes. and the bell so you get a message every time we post and a, a new up. video. And of course, yeah, give it a thumbs up um, if you enjoyed our content and we will see you in self-isolation here in Istanbul very soon. Absolutely.